The Gulf Stream system is a very important part of the climate machinery of our planet because it transports huge amounts of heat and is uh, the reason why the whole region around the northern Atlantic is warmer by several degrees centigrade compared to what would be normal on that latitude. And uh, there has been a concern since the 1980s based on results from paleoclimate studies that this system might be unstable and that due to the global warming we are actually slowing down the Gulf Stream system. And uh, there is a simple physical mechanism behind that because this system only works if the water in the northern Atlantic is dense enough to sink. That sinking, this formation of new deep water drives the whole system and when you dilute the Atlantic surface waters with fresh water coming uh, partly from increased river discharge, from increased rainfall, but also from increased ice melt, then basically the water gets less dense, cannot sink so well, and the whole system slows down. That's a theory. The big question is, is this already happening? And indeed, we have some evidence uh, that has been mounting in recent years that the system is slowing down. You can see that, for example, uh, from the fact that there is a big cold blob that has developed in the northern Atlantic uh, between uh, Newfoundland, uh, Greenland and uh, Ireland roughly. It's a pretty big area which has cooled in the last hundred years. And in 2015, that region even reached the record low temperatures. It's been coldest since the record keeping began in the year 1880. And uh, we attribute that to the Gulf Stream system slowing down because it normally transports heat just into that area where it's released to the atmosphere. And so when the system slows down, less heat gets into that area and it cools. And we observe this cooling. And this cooling has been predicted for a long time also by climate models as a response to global warming.